Welcome to the General Structures 2 and Lateral Forces Workbook, Lesson 1, Example Number 2. And it asks, what live load reduction is permitted for a roof member supporting 350 square feet? So we have A equals 350 foot squared. If the dead load, which sometimes they just call it D, but I'm going to call it DL, because that's what I'm used to, is 20 pounds per square foot and the roof pitch is 5 and 12 so I guess what is the live load reduction? First of all we need to figure out what the live load is so live load and remember we have a roof member okay and for the minimum live loads, roof live loads, you go to table 16-C. So if you go to the table, you can see that flat or rise less than 4 units vertical. We have rise that's 5, so rise five, 4 units verticals to less than 12 vertical and 12 units horizontal. So 33% less than 100 slope. So I think, I, I, from what I'm reading, it seems like we're in we're number two on your left. Then I go to the right, and let's see what else we have here. It says it's tributary area, and we had, how much tributary area? We had 350, so let's go 350. Looks like it's 201 to 600, so that says 14. So we get live load is... 14 PSF. Maybe I should have done that a different color. Let's go ahead and change. And actually, this is this is actually method one. This is known as method one. And this is you do not reduce this. This kind of is built in in method one, and it's a little bit confusing. And I, I suggest you read through this section, and hopefully they'll explain that. I mean, I, I think the table needs to explain that a little bit better, in my opinion. And then in method two, you get a uniform load, and number two, and you get 16. Uh, equals 16 PSF for method two. And this is what we want to do to... This one can be reduced. This is not reduced. Or maybe that's bad. Let's say already reduced. Already. There we go. And this one is not reduced. So you take the 16 and you need to go about your equations to see, uh, kind of what we did with example 1, to see if it actually needs to be reduced or not. And our criteria was that it was except for public places of assembly and it says nothing about that so that's good so we'll say public place not public place let's say that not public place place of assembly and then our next criteria so that's check it's not a public place of a criteria that's good and it says except for live loads greater than 100 pounds per cube per square foot except for live loads so it, not greater than 100 psf and 16 is definitely not greater than 100 psf and it says any member supporting more than 150 feet so a greater than 150 feet squared and that's also a yes because we're at 350 all right so we can be reduced according to this criteria then we want to use that formula r equals little r a minus 150 again and this just remember to be meticulous when you're going through this so you don't make a mistake because it can be a little bit confusing all right so we know our live load is 16 And we need to reduce that by what? So let's I change color here to, to green. 
And we want to go back to that table 16-C, and we see that the rate of reduction ratio, or rate of reduction, R, equals, we were second, so that's 0.06. Where'd you get all this paper? And then the R, big R, just go over one more, equals 25. And then we go ahead and plug and chug. Actually, that's the maximum. So it's not greater than this. Less than or equal to 25. Let's just say that. Hopefully that makes sense. It's because it says at the top maximum reduction ratio percentage. So let's go in there and go ahead and solve. We have 0 0.06. A is 350. Minus 150. So 200 times 0 0.06 is... times 200. 0.06 that equals 12. 0.06 times 200 equals 12. All right, so we have 12. Our rate of reduction is 12. R equals 12. It is less than 25, so we're good. This will control. We want to go back to what controls over there. So right now this is controlling despite that's in the table. It says the live load reduction may not exceed 40%. It's also, it's less than 40%. 40, 40 so this will control, not, not 40. 60% um, for other members, or R as determined from the formula. Let's determine that from the formula. R equals 23.1, 1 plus D over L. Our dead load was 20. Our live load was 16, so that comes up with 23.1 times 1 plus 20 divided by 16, and we get 51, let's just say 52, and it's 52 is way up there as well, so that's not going to control. What's going to control is this 12%, so let's go ahead and reduce that 16 by 12%. I'll change colors again. So 16, actually let's just do this, let's say 100 minus 12. This is the way I always like to do it, equals 88%. As opposed to focusing on the what's reduced, I want to focus on what's left. So I say 16 PSF times 0 0.88. And that's going to be what you're going to use. 16 times 0.88 equals 14.08. You can just round off to point 14 and say, oh, that's that's okay. We'll go with that. So 14.08 PSF is your new load. You could have reduced it by 12%. Let's go back and see what they, the actual question was asking. And it says that what live load reduction is permitted? So I, you could even say what live load reduction is permitted. Let's do 16 PSF times 0 0.12. This is what how much live load is going to be reduced. You can reduce your live load by 1.92 PSF, which is obviously 16 minus 14.08. So that is your answer. Now, uh, as you can see, I just want to point out another thing is this 14.08 is very similar to method one. So let me just go ahead and do method one if you feel comfortable with that. Uh, or you can just go ahead and do both and take the more conservative attitude. So use the 1408, or you can just say, hey, they're both really close to 14. I'm just going to use 14. All right, I will see you on example number three.